the makeup of the Mitre 10 Cup playoffs is slowly taking shape and there's another piece of the jigsaw waiting to fall into place this afternoon at Ecolite Stadium in Pukekohe as the front runners Canterbury take on Counties Manuko. Well done by Francis to keep it going. Now Pulu trying to fight his way through the middle. Pops it up, they're close, they're over. Is it Tony Pulu who's come in? Pulu goes one way, then the other. Elliot shows him the ball, goes into nice. contact. There it is for the Steelers. Chance out wide. Cover defence is desperate. Lal Lala taken close to the touchline, but the ball's still there. Now Vaka. Trying to fight his way to the line. They're close, they're over! It's Poliasi Manu has scored. Leave it! Ball squirts out loose. Referee playing advantage to Canterbury here. Now here's Bridge. Breaks the first one, pops the offload away. Leonard Brown is in! They give it back to Volla Volla. Kicks low, that's an awful kick. Man, that is an absolute... Barry Crocker, as they'd say in Australia, where he comes from. Here's Pulu getting on the outside. Tony Pulu! Off he goes! Brilliant! Fa'a Saul gets it away brilliantly in contact. Vayinga gets it to the line, gets it down. That's a try! And Kelly's. Laulala moves it on Fa'asau. Vaka now seizing the opportunity to run. Oh, he's strong. Sam Vaka smashes through the tackle. Offload to jump. That is a sensational try. He has a dig. Can't get there. Stratton fires it away, and they're in in the corner. It's Nathan Earl who gets the try. Also put this into touch and end the game. They give it to Lal Lala for the last say. It's been a long time, hasn't it? A county's win over Canary too. Yep. For the first time since the new format came into being, County's Monaco have beaten Canterbury. 33 to 21, an outstanding performance from the Steelers.